Hey folks, it's Jackie the Hot Tub Lady and welcome to my channel. I'm super excited you're here. I put out new content every Wednesday, so please make sure you hit that subscribe button right over here. One of these days I'm gonna get it right. Hit that subscribe button right over here. Make sure you give me a thumbs up, shoot me a comment, and I'll be happy to answer that. But today's subject, how do I prepare for a delivery once I've purchased a hot tub? This has been a pretty popular conversation here the last few days just because a lot of people are coming in buying hot tubs because it's spring and that's what happens so stay tuned and I'll be right back to tell you what you need to do So hey guys, once again, I do put out new content every Wednesday, so make sure you ring the bell and hit that thumbs up, subscribe, so that you never miss any valuable information that helps me help you become a happy hot tub owner. You know, I've, I've worked the last couple of weeks and it has just been crazy. Um, ever since a year ago when the pandemic first started, people are buying hot tubs like it's toilet paper. Honestly, the hot tubs are flying out the door. And most of you know by now that you actually have to wait to get one. And that's just the reality of the game. Every once in a while, you may be able to stumble into a dealership and there might be one that just showed up on a truck that would be ready to go. In those cases, it's pretty awesome. They're few and far between, so I don't want to get anybody's hopes up, but when it does happen, these are the things that you need to have ready or be prepared for when it comes to having your site ready for a hot tub. I can speak for our dealership. I'm not speaking for every dealership. Most dealerships pretty much fall into the same lines. We are not licensed electric so we cannot wire your hot tub. I, there are a few, I, I do have some really good friends in the, in the industry that do actually employ electricians, but for the most part, I'd say 97% of the retailers out there do not have an electrician on staff. So you are going to have to, to hire your own electrician to wire the hot tub. If it's a 110, 15 amp, you can typically plug that into just regular any out, any outlet outside. Those are awesome. You know, they work really good. You just want to make sure nothing else is on that outlet. For the most part, hot tubs that are 110 units have a 12 foot cord that come with them so you're going to have to place the hot tub within 12 feet of that outlet extension cords are not a good idea if you need a longer cord you're actually going to have to have an electrician build that cord for you but you definitely don't want to be running running any hot tub on an extension cord as long as you're within 12 feet of your outlet you're usually pretty good most hot tubs that are out there i'd say 90 percent of what is sold is a 220 unit and that is going to have to be direct wired by a licensed electrician most that are out there are a single 50 amp unit and I will actually put some schematics down below please talk to your retailer before you actually get the get a hot tub wired because there's lots of different things out there down down below I'll put in the description I'll put the schematics for my most two popular ones for the 50 amps most that are out there on the market today are a single 50 amp and they typically need four wires from the breaker box to the hot tub and then most of your hot springs basically your salt water hot tubs so your hot springs your limelights your calderas anything that have a 24-hour circulation pump with a built-in freeze protection which is awesome those are going to be a 2030 breaker and those tip typically need six wires again i will put that description down below both of those schematics so that you can give those to your electrician to get them hooked up that is something that is that is over and beyond the cost of the hot tub so kind of keep that in mind the other thing Thing that we need is a solid surface to set it on it so we concrete is best not required but concrete is best best case scenario if you're calling me today and saying hey Jackie what do I need to do in my backyard to have a hot tub and I'm gonna tell you I need need an electrician and I need a solid surface that solid surface is typically best case scenario it's a six inch floating slab it doesn't need need to be reinforced and it doesn't need to be anchored down in we don't need anything like that just a six inch floating slab. Now, if you have a four inch floating slab out in your backyard, 
I'm not going to make you rip it out and do anything like that. Pavers work really good too. Just make sure they're level. And the one thing that we cannot have is a lot of times we'll have a slope. Almost everybody's patio has a little bit of a slope with the water drain off. That's not a big deal. Know ahead of time that that's whatever the, the slope of the, the concrete is or your surface is. That's going to be your water line in the hot tub. If you've got a two inch drop, you're going to have a two inch water line in your hot tub. Not going to hurt anything on the hot tub as long as you're never starving the pump. The low side needs to be, be the filter side where the water is going in. As long as you're not starving that pump, you're good there. The one thing that we cannot have and we do run into on occasion, if you have a big crack in your concrete or if you think you're going to put it on half pavers and half grass, we have one surface that's this way and one surface that's, that's above it. That just doesn't work. We can't have the hot tub rocking in any way, shape, or form. That needs to be a level, level surface. We do not shim the hot tub. You need the hot tub to be shimmed. You're going to have to build a shim. That is something as a homeowner you would be responsible for, and yet you have to build it the whole length of the hot tub. I've seen some real horror stories where somebody just takes a two by four and shoves it under the corner, and that's really bad because that's a lot of weight coming down on that shell, and it is eventually going to crack. If you do have to shim it, you have to build that shim across the whole side of the hot tub. You can't just shove a two by four under there. I'll see if I can find a picture to tell you what not to do on that. Basically, that's all we really need, and we need to be able to get to the backyard. At my dealership, we'd love to have a video. In fact, we won't even schedule a delivery if we don't have a video from the driveway to the concrete slab where that hot tub's going to land. You would basically just take your phone, walk from the driveway to where, where you're going to want that hot tub to land. Not a big deal. Super simple. I actually have you text that to me. Any of the other salespeople in the store would have you do the same. It's actually really helpful if you bring that in when you come to purchase the hot tub, but we can always get that information later. It that's a huge help. So we do not pick up the hot tub and lift it over the gate. We do not lift it up over the fence. We can get them up on decks, but we definitely have to plan for that. That is not what we would consider a standard delivery. Get a forklift or a crane or something like that. Plan for that as well. And then sometimes we have these big pillows that will lift up a hot tub and then we can get them up on, onto a deck that way as well. But you will have to remove the railings. All easy, easy things. I know it sounds a little overwhelming when you're hearing this. You as the homeowner, what you're responsible to supply to me is power for the hot tub, a solid service to put the hot tub in, and a video with access to get to that spot. If you can supply me with those three things, I'm going to get the hot tub in your backyard, and I mo know most dealers are going, going to do it that way as well. Please visit with your local dealer to figure out how they are going to deliver your hot tub. You know, guys, don't buy one off the internet and let them sh shove it off the off of the back of the truck and it lands in your driveway and you got to figure out how to get back there it's a little it's worth the money trust me hire somebody to to put that hot tub in the backyard for you it's let the professionals handle it i hope this is helpful i hope you guys enjoyed it if you have any more questions about what you need to do to prepare for a delivery let me know leave a comment down below i will definitely get back to you i do answer all of my comments make sure you give me a thumbs up hit the subscribe button over here one like i said one of these days i'll get that right and i absolutely love you guys at the hot tub lady and keep making life epic.